apparently you can get fish sperm as okay, something okay. to eat. Uh, a really spicy ramen. Really <laughs> spicy. A really spicy one. Because you say like you say go spicy, but it's not that spicy. You see me, I'm just dumping the chili powder on there. The smell and also the texture. It's kind of like it's as if like someone they just had beans and just spit on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, like you gotta try it. You gotta try anything. I hi hi. This is Sima. Today we are in Nagano, Japan, and we'll be interviewing foreigners. Their most favorite and least favorite Japanese food. Let's see what they say. So, what's your name? My name is Riley. And you're from? I'm from Canada. Uh, what is your favorite Japanese food so far? Uh, probably ramen. I, I actually didn't have ramen a whole lot back home. Okay. Coming here, I've had it yeah. too many times. It's, it's so <laughs> good here. It's so good. Okay. Is there something you tried but didn't like? Um. I can't think of anything really, oh, yeah. no, yeah, the food's just been spectacular here, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, for me it was natto. I haven't have, tried natto oh, yet, yeah? no. But maybe you heard from foreigners? Yeah, some of my colleagues have tried getting me to, yeah, Yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit scared to try it, but oh, yeah? at, at some point I'll, I'll have to just <laughs> bite the bullet <laughs> and do it, <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Pri. Where are you from? I'm from New Zealand. What's your favorite Japanese food? Oh my gosh, where do I start? Yeah. Uh, katsubushi. Katsubushi. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. And I love any kind of like soba. It's so like my favorite yes. noodle dish. Oh, like yeah. The cold soba in the summer yeah. is really yeah. tasty. I hadn't had it like that before. Yeah. But Actually, Nagano is really famous I've for the heard, soba. yeah. <laughs> soba and apples. Yeah, yeah. I hear, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. True. yeah. Okay, anything you tried but didn't like? Uh, squid sashimi. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I like sashimi, but yeah, that one was a bit out of my comfort zone. Mm. <laughs> Not much taste, but yeah. really Super chewy. chewy, yeah, <laughs> very chewy. Have you tried natto? That's I something I tried but didn't like. I have, yeah. and I didn't mind it, but it did weird me out of it. Yeah. Like, if I didn't, you know, look at it in the stringy, stringy oh, nose, yeah. It was it was okay, but yeah. like the texture was kind of a bit off-putting. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name is Alex. Okay, so where are you from? I'm from France. It's your favorite Japanese food. I mean, I mm. only stayed here for a month, so maybe if you have, if it is something that I never tried before, yeah, uh, I would give it. A I try. would definitely say, well, I mean, it has to be pork katsu curry. Like, I I love it so much, but oh, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, pork katsu curry, and then obviously there's sushi. sushi but sushi, it really depends. It's like, yeah. it can be really bad. I know, I know. But I'd say if it's good, sushi is top. Sushi, sushi, pork katsu curry, and then I'd probably say cold soba noodles. So is there something you tried but didn't like, like food? Uh, I'd probably say natto, which I oh guess God, not many people natto. like it here. But I mean, you have to try it, but yeah, it's just I like it. the it. smell yeah, and yeah. also the texture. It's kind of like, it's as if like someone, they just had beans and just spit on it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but yeah, honestly, yeah. like you got to try it. You got to yeah. try anything. I'd probably say that and like yeah. having a straight up just whole fish on your plate and you have to like open it apart and eat it. Okay. That's probably the toughest part. But yeah. I think everything else, they just have it. They have yeah, it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so far, me as well, only not two. Mm. And why was that? Like, Goya? Goya. Yeah, yeah. Those are the two things that I didn't yeah. like. Otherwise, like, the food is amazing. Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. Like, they, they have it on lock here. The food is just yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> What's your name? John. Sarah. What's your favorite Japanese food so far? Oh, there's so many. Um, <laughs> Jeez, I mean, I've, I've only been here for a month, so, like, oh, really? I could use your suggestions. Yeah, um... I've found the some of the places that are just this this isn't an exact food but mm. uh, a random one you'll find down an alley that you know a place you've never heard of mm. they sometimes they do the best food just mm, yeah, um, yeah. best ramen the best udon yeah. Yeah. so tasty yeah um, udon's probably my favorite and katsu curry oh yeah yeah always oh. really good oh, yeah. Katsu curry. yeah I got this recommendation before I should <laughs> try definitely it's really good yeah okay it's, how about you mm, I'm a bit of a sucker for sushi. Oh mm. yeah, sushi. and sashimi. Yeah, sashimi. yeah. yeah. Mm. we've tried. I've tried more raw fish than I've ever tried in my life yeah. <laughs> since I've been here. Yeah. Uh, never really tried it before, but yeah. yeah, it's been good. Is there something you tried but didn't like? Um, we did try at a very fancy restaurant. Yeah. Uh, 
She only told me what it was after I'd eaten it. Mm. But apparently you can get fish sperm as okay, something okay. to eat. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I had the... I ate it and it was all right, and then she told me what it was, and then I, yeah, I was gagging a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. It was um, interesting. The texture was a bit yeah. hard to get through. Yeah. yeah. But so. before, I mean, before you knew, like the taste itself is. Was okay. uh, it, it wasn't. It was all right. <laughs> I guess I just can't. Yeah, I can't get past it. Well, so you found that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that was probably. Yeah. All the rest has been really good. For me so far, it's been natto. Have you guys oh, tried yes, that one? Natto, no. Natto. She knows more about food yes. than me. <laughs> what is you, it? How, you know? how is it? It was good. Oh, yeah, what? you I liked, liked it. it. Oh, yeah, okay, it's okay. the sticky stuff. You have tried it too. Mm, kind of. Okay, yeah, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Elina. Where did you come from? I live in Finland, but mm -hmm. I was uh, born in Belgium. Uh, What's your favorite Japanese food so far? Wow, difficult question. Yeah. Um, I love soba. I love the okay. the buckwheat soba. It's very okay, nice. okay. And I think it's from uh, Nagano here. It's mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. soba. So is that your number one? I don't know. No, I don't have any number. Yeah. Everything is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I can understand. It's difficult to choose. Is there something you kind of tried but didn't like? Japanese food. Mm, nothing comes to my mind. No. Oh, yeah. no. What's your name? My name is Ruby Lemon. And you're from? <laughs> I'm from Sydney, Australia. What's your favorite Japanese food? Ramen. <laughs> my vegetarian ramen. <laughs> Without my boiled egg. <laughs> so, so plain, so boring. <laughs> is there something you tried but didn't like? Um, not yet, to be uh -huh. honest. Not yet. Mm -hmm. I want to branch branch out a bit more, but we've just been so excited just yeah. eating ramen constantly. We're like, ramen, let's go, let's go. So what's your name? James. And you're from? Australia, Melbourne. My favourite food? Yeah. Uh, a really spicy ramen. Really <laughs> spicy. A really spicy one. Because you say, like, you say go spicy, but it's not that spicy. You see me, I'm just dumping the chilli powder on there. Um, yeah, we're just going crazy. Yeah. Because you're going, I mean, she's vegetarian, but you're not. But since mm. you guys are just uh, yeah. always going together. Yeah, always going together. We're always trying, it's, it's um, try and find a place for her to eat. Oh. Um, you know, it's ideally, you obviously want to eat together. Yeah. Um, but sometimes you have to travel quite a bit away away to yeah. find a place that can accommodate. Yeah. Um, but every time that we've gone to, like, have to go to a, a vegetarian dish place, there's always obviously been meat options and you've been like, this yeah. is like definitely number three top ramen. Mm. Like it's always yeah. been like mm. actually delicious food, yeah. not just like very good. It's good servings. And like the price, it's, actually been it's quite just okay. good price. Mm. Like back home, the stuff you pay like 10 or like a, you know 1100 yen for, 1000 yen. Mm. Back home, that would be like pay 20, 25 dollars for a yeah. bowl. It's like that. It's just, it's just, it's good pricing and it's quick, efficient. And it's love put into it, you know? The people that make it, they just love. They just love it. And lots of spice. Yeah, lots of spice. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed that video. How about you guys? Have you ever tried any food that's foreign to your culture? And how was it? How was your experience? Let us know in the comments. If you liked this video, make sure to like and share to your friends. For next time, we'll be asking foreigners how tough it is to travel and live in Japan not knowing the language so if you don't want to miss that video make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you so much for watching see you next time bye